Hey, what's up guys? It's Zach. Um, just a quick update. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back in when I get some more videos coming. Uh, so either way, let's get right into the video. Okay. So the ingredients you'll need to get whatever it is off of your device would be a hair dryer, I use this one, some rubbing alcohol, and honestly it doesn't matter what percentage it is, uh, and some toilet paper, and about 15 minutes to get it all off. Okay, so start by plugging your hair dryer in, and then with your hair dryer turn it on to medium heat and medium cool, and just start in one corner of the sticker. From there you can move around, but just peel it up and see where the sticker wants to go. Then. After another minute, you should be able to start to peel up the sticker. Just go slowly and make sure not to rip it. Now if you're lucky, you can just pull up the sticker and be done with it. You're good to go. But if you're unfortunate like me, all of this residue was left to be cleaned up. To actually clean up the residue, you're going to use your rubbing alcohol and some toilet paper. Slowly pour some rubbing alcohol onto the toilet paper and wait about 30 seconds to a minute after you set down the toilet paper on the sticky area. The alcohol will start to set and after 30 seconds you can pick it up and start to rub it with your fingers. It should feel really smooth and slick. You're going to have to repeat this process about 5 times before it starts to look good and eventually you can just pour onto the toilet paper and rub the toilet paper into the residue. That should not only loosen the adhesive but also pick it up at the same time. Your end result should be a clean aluminum look. I hope that I've helped you guys out and as you can see here, the Mac is looking pretty clean. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.